tell us a little bit about the tremendous transformation you must have, have, have gone through from the, from the wedding ceremony uh, for, for 20 years after that. I mean, all of a sudden, you're, you're the partner of, uh, of the man who's running a nation. And, and what kind of challenges and responsibilities and, and shocks did that bring? Where do I begin? Well, there is the book, <laughs> Leap of Faith, <laughs> which I know already m many of you here have read and have been very kind to uh, speak to me about. Uh, I, I do obviously discuss this in Leap of Faith. I would like to begin, that, and I do mention it in Leap of Faith, the story of my grandparents here in, in, in Dallas and my father um, growing up here in the early years. So what a pleasure and privilege it is to be here with all of you. It's always a delight to come back to this city and to this great state. And uh, it's a privilege to have been invited by the center to, to speak to you all today. I, um, uh, my King Hussein, who of course was born and, and raised in a very different world from the one that I was born and raised in, uh, and I found as we began to talk together on occasions that we met in the course of my work in Jordan, uh, having returned to the Middle East uh, to seek out my Arab roots, my family having emigrated to the United States from, um, from the Middle East in the, at the turn of the century, we found in these conversations that, that had brought, at times that we were brought together, that we had a great deal in common in spite of the differences in the ways we'd been raised and the places we'd grown up in. He was an idealist and a committed public servant. Uh, he had an, an, um, an optimism and, and conviction that each one of us can make a difference in our lives and that peace was possible in the region if only uh, the, the greatest number of people were enabled to become constructive actors in the peace process. So he spent his life developing a country, 